Welcome back Aries and welcome to your April uh, 2023 reading. Uh, we're going to take a look at your energy and dive right into your reading, okay? So let's pull some energy for Aries. Now if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. I appreciate all of your wonderful support. I'm so thankful for everyone. And um, if it doesn't resonate, please uh, take a look at your other placements, okay? I have them in a playlist for April. So once they're all uploaded, you'll be able to take a look at your other placements. Okay, so let's pull some energy for Aries. First, we're going to take a look at the Romance Angels Oracle. Okay, make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Okay? So, Spirit is letting you know to make the effort. Okay? I feel like there's something that you're pursuing. There's something that you're looking forward to do in April. And I feel like a lot of things are happening for you. A lot of things are really going to start unfolding in April. So, Take your full effort, okay? Because the angels are protecting you. They're guiding you. They're, they're showing you the direction that they want you to move in. Okay, let's get some more energy for Aries. Let's get some more energy for Aries, please. Okay. We have a brilliant idea. Archangel Uriel. Yes, your idea is divinely guided. Please take action to bring your idea to fruition. Look, what did I tell you? Ideas. There's something brewing. Okay? There's something that you're thinking about doing, something that you're thinking about pursuing. And the spirits, the angels are letting you know, yes, this is now is the time. This is the time for you to react. Take action. Okay? April is... <clears throat> going to be very prosperous for you. Okay, we'll get one more for the energy. More energy for Aries, please. Okay, we have why. I feel like right now you're really questioning the why, ifs, and hows. You know, why is this a good time? Why is this happening? You know, why are things unfolding the way that they are? But I, th I think spirit is letting you know not to question, not to ask the whys, but to ask the hows. You know, how can I take action? How can I pursue what is for my greatest good? Okay, don't ask the why. Ask the how. How is this going to manifest? How is this going to happen? You know, show me, show me a clear picture, show me a clear sign, okay? At the bottom, you have milk and honey. So there's definitely abundance. There's definitely abundance coming forward for you, okay? So this is beautiful energy because I feel like the ideas that you're getting today are going to be the manifestations you bring in tomorrow. And it's going to be the abundance that comes in that you'll be creating okay so that is that is beautiful energy that's beautiful energy coming out you know um by making the effort it can change all the possibilities you won't have to ask why you know, why won't even be in your vocabulary? Because you see the possibilities and you make the effort, right? And good things are going to come your way in April. I feel very good things coming your way in April, Aries, okay? So let's take a look at the tarot. Let's see what's coming out in April. 2023 for Aries. Give me a message for April 
2023 for Aries. Give me a message, please. Okay, look at this. Nine of Pentacles. Increase. Something beautiful is coming out. Something beautiful is being brought through. Okay, your burdens will be released. You won't be carrying as many burdens. You won't be carrying that weight. There's going to be so much change and transformation and things being revealed. You won't even have to ask the why questions because your angels are revealing what questions need to be answered. Okay? And if you are open to love, Aries, I feel like there is a deep emotional love coming through for you. Okay? There's going to be something. And I kind of feel this on a spiritual level. I kind of feel like you're pouring your full emotions into this new love or into this deepening connection. Um, so if you are already connected, I can feel a deepening connection happening for you. Now, if this is new love, I feel like this new love is going to come in and just sweep you off your feet. You know, I feel like you're going to be carried away with emotion. This is really beautiful energy, really beautiful energy. And we have the high priestess secrets being revealed. Okay. Trust in your intuition, trust in your situation. This is like, um, creating a bounty is what I'm getting. Okay. Purely something that you'll want to take action upon. You'll be taking action on the situation. Because I feel like with the Nine of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands, we're moving from a Nine to a Ten. There's progression here. There's something moving forward, taking action, okay? With the Nine of Pentacles, I feel like there's money that is increasing. There's prosperity that is increasing. Your independence is getting more, more obvious, more, um, more apparent. Okay. And I really feel like these weights that you were once carrying, you're now letting those down. You know, I feel like you have more priorities. You may even have more responsibilities, but the weight of these priorities or responsibilities are not as heavy. You know, you're carrying these things with ease. You're no longer feeling the burden of carrying the weight. You know, you're feeling like this is worth your effort. This is worth your all. And you're putting everything into it. Okay, whether this is business, whether this is career, a job, whether this is love, I feel like, you know, you're creating this world of your own. That's what I'm getting, Aries. You're creating something that you are truly transforming and changing into something very beautiful, into something that you can truly call your own. So I feel like with this death card, this is like the old you being separated from the new you. I hope that's understandable, but it, it's like renewing your spirit, renewing your faith, taking advantage of the things that are open opportunities. Okay. A lot of truths being revealed and pursued. Okay. I feel like with this moon card, I feel like, you know, the sun is behind the moon. So your happiness lies within the things that are being revealed to you. Right. So <clears throat> I really feel like 
with every changing moment and i feel like you are definitely changing you are making a lot of certain changes right and i feel like you are becoming more clear on the path that you are going to be taking you are being more clear on things that may have once you have questioned but now you feel like you truly understand the reason why those things were going on those things were happening those changes were being made because they brought you to this moment they brought you to this certain path okay this certain path is going to lead you to your destination to your brilliant ideas your your wonderful efforts to new opportunities okay to that new love uh, that's being offered to you, right? Um, so I feel like there's a lot of changes coming through for you. We're going to go ahead and clarify these cards as well. So let's go ahead and clarify these cards for April. <clears throat> Tell me more about what's going on in April for Aries. What's going on in April for Aries? And by the way, happy birthday, Aries. If you were coming into your season, you're becoming more prosperous. You are figuring out things. So that is wonderful. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Okay. For the Nine of Pentacles, we have the King of Pentacles. Right? For the uh, Ten of Wands, we have the Seven of Wands. Okay, for the death card, we have the seven up cups. And for the moon, oh my goodness, we have the ten of pentacles. So yeah, got it. Okay, we also have the hangman on the bottom. So I feel like you are looking at things through a totally different lens. Okay, you are looking at things through a different perspective, and that's exactly what spirit wants you to do. They want you to look at things through a different perspective, see things through different eyes, because you may not have noticed something that would have been so clear before, but you didn't have the ability or wasn't able to fully see a different perspective on the situation. Okay, but I feel like a lot of things are becoming more clear because you're looking at things from a different point of view. You're really becoming aware of certain things that may not have been clear before, right? Um, and I'm actually seeing that in my own life as well because, you know, there's certain situations that I'm dealing with that are becoming more aware that it's not the right situation for me, right? Um, like a career that I've had for a very long time, it's suddenly becoming more stressful and it's, it's suddenly becoming more responsibility because there's more tasks that are placed upon me due to, um, people leaving the company, right? So I have more responsibility due to uh, losing other employees or, you know, and now it's becoming more stressful, but it's not giving me any more benefits, right? So, I mean, everything is becoming more clear, what I need to do in the future, what I need to put my mind towards now. So and I can fully understand exactly what this reading is saying that, you know, place it where it resonates Aries, but I feel like a lot of things are going to become more clear, whether it's in your personal life, in your business life, or in your love life, right? Okay, with the Nine of Pentacles, I feel like, yes, you are becoming more, more independent. You are reaping the reward of all of your efforts and I feel like you're you're becoming more stable but you're also seeing more abundance a higher 
uh, ability for more increase, right? I feel like more is coming in for you. And even though there may be other people who depend on you, I feel like they are needing nothing, right? I feel like they, they may not have all of their wants, but they definitely have all of their needs, okay? And I feel like this King of Pentacles, this King of Pentacles is very generous, you know? If this is new love coming in for you, this is a person who is very generous, very well off, very stable and loyal, okay? The, the Pentacles is someone who actually wants to be in your life for a very long time. This is long lasting energy with the Pentacles. The Pentacles is very loyal energy, right? And they want something that lasts a lifetime. They want to build something that lasts a lifetime, right? So I feel like if this is new love coming through, this is a love that's going to be everlasting, okay? So with this King of Pentacles energy, this is going to give you exactly what you need at the moment and exactly what you want right now, you know? Okay, just a moment. <clears throat> okay, so with the Ten of Wands and the Seven of Swords, I feel like I feel like these priorities that you have, um, these responsibilities that you have, I feel like sometimes you may feel like it's draining or you may feel like it's taken away from other responsibilities, other um, priorities that you have. Maybe you work long hours but you want to devote more time to your children or you work long hours and you want to devote more time to a hobby or volunteering or something like that you you see what i mean i i feel like um something is taken away from your priorities from you know you spending time on something that you really enjoy something that you want to take action on okay and I, I feel like it's kind of mentally draining for you because there's, there's something that you want to put more of your energy into, but you may not be able to because it's taken away your time. You only have so much time to deal with something, right? <clears throat> with the death card and the seven of, of cups, I feel like this change is bringing in a lot of opportunities. But I also feel like this change is also bringing in sometimes uncertainty because there is confusion on, <clears throat> on some things that are going on, right? So I feel like with this change, these changes are bringing in some kind of confusion as to what needs to transpire, what needs to be carried out. Okay, and I feel like that confusion is leading you to look for more clear ways to figure something out, right? More clear ways to for something to reve be revealed. And I feel like these new ideas, these new ideas that are coming forward for you, I feel like they're going to bring a lot of prosperity, a lot of abundance. And especially, I feel like these new ideas are going to bring you more precious time, the time that you're looking for, okay? Because I feel like this reading is all about time, time that you spend doing something that you really want to pursue that you really want to take time with and that you really want to dive into. I feel like there's an opportunity in here as well because whatever this is that you want to take time with, I feel like you can actually make a living doing. 
like if you want to spend time with children I feel like you can ask around and um, maybe start a daycare or start babysitting on the side or start you know um, having a, a babysitting share you know where you and your friends get together and take care of each other's kids doing certain things right um, but I mean that that isn't a life-changing income but it's actually something that can actually help you through your situation and bring extra income in you know um, but I feel like there's an idea here that is going to bring you prosperity It's going to bring you some kind of increase that's going to uh, bring in a abundance okay and I feel like spirit doesn't want you to ask why they want you to ask how how can this be done how is this going to happen you know so I, I feel like that is the question that you want to ask how is this going to happen okay so let's go ahead and get um, manifestation monology let's take a look and see what that has to say okay step up and lead yeah I, I feel like spirit is letting you know just to take action whatever it is that you want to do just take action make a start do one simple thing okay just take action on the situation and everything else will fall into place okay and we have spring so something really beautiful is going to happen in the spring uh, it may be new projects unfolding some kind of new beginning or just being aware of certain situations but I feel like spring is going to bring in new benefits new opportunities new awareness you know spring is going to be very very significant for you okay and I feel like you know the first day of spring was actually on Monday for this northern hemisphere so I, I feel like you know this is the time for you to take action on something that you need to be doing something that's going to be very very important for you right okay let's go ahead and get <clears throat> um, let's see Let's get a Moonology card for Aries. Okay. Confidence is the key to your success. Definitely. Confidence is what's going to push you through. Confidence and strength. And also having the courage. That's Leo energy having the courage to do, to make the first step, to push forward, right? Um, having the ability to know exactly what you want and exactly how to get it. That's Leo energy. That's that fire, that awareness, that, you know, drive to get something done. Okay, that's all Leo. And I feel like you have that same fire. You are a fire sign, Aries. So you have that same ability, you know. Um, Leo is one of your fire signs. You know, they're in the same category. So I feel like you have the same fire, the same drive, very similar capabilities. Okay, so now is the time to put those capabilities into action. To take advantage right okay let's go ahead and okay well let's go ahead and take a look at what's coming to Aries in love okay let's see what's going on in love for Aries <clears throat> What is going on for Aries in love? Let's 
Spirit, give me a message. Give me a message. What's going on for Aries in love? What's happening? Give me a message for Aries. Okay, the Eight of Emotions, the Eight of Swords. You feel a deep longing for something meaningful in your life. In your heart, you know that there's more out there waiting for you in the world. It may be time to switch careers, move to a new home or city, or initiate another important change. Do what's right for you and seek out your magical new life. And that's exactly what I was saying. There's, there's time for something new, something important that you want to pursue, okay? And we have the five of abundance. There are times when everyone needs a hand and your angels want you to know that you needn't go through your current challenges alone. Accept the help to, of those around you. And the situation you're experiencing is temporary. This may not be the right time to become self-employed, but be patient. Okay? So... You know, that's the, the five of pentacles. So there may be some kind of situation that you may be having a feeling like you don't have enough or that you're not enough in a certain situation. Okay. But spirit wants you to know that the four of action is here. Okay. This is the four of wands. Your hard work and sincere efforts lead you to a sense of safety, contentment and financial security. You deserve to take a break and enjoy the magnificent life you've created. It may be time to celebrate a wonderful event such as an engagement, a wedding, buying a new home, or the birth of a child. Okay? So I feel like, you know, you may be holding yourself back from a situation or you may be showing some kind of resistance to start something, right? You may feel like something is just not worth the effort or you just don't have enough experience. But the Four of Wands here is telling you to take action. Take some inspired action. Take a leap of faith and, you know, the universe will push the rest to you right and I, I feel like the, this can actually go for love for career or for your life in general right so I feel like if you're resisting something if you feel like you're not enough in a situation take action have confidence have confidence in what you're doing okay let's take a look at what's coming forward for Aries in love. Okay. <clears throat> okay, we have the death card. So something may be ending so that something new can begin. Okay, this is transforming energy. And we got the death card here, so we have that twice. So definitely, something is transforming. Something is changing. And it's going to bloom into something that is evolving to the next phase, right? It's going to be something that is changing for the better. So if, if you're currently in a relationship and things are not going that well, I'm, I'm letting you know that things are going to start changing. Things are going to start evolving. And your outcome is going to become more positive. That's because some kind of habits, some kind of situation in your love life is shifting. And things are evolving and going to the next phase. Okay? So don't fret. Don't get worried if things just aren't going the way that you expected. If you're just separated from a relationship and you're not sure where the situation is going, there's a new relationship that will be unfolding for you, right? And your relationship will grow and it will prosper, okay? With this 
ending and this beautiful evolution. Okay, so Aries, let's go ahead and lastly, let's go ahead and pull your angel number. I'm really loving these angel numbers. I want to use them in every one of my readings. I really do. I'm not joking at all because I love these cards so much. They're beautiful. Okay, let's get you an angel number. Okay, we have one, two, three, vision. Exactly. See the vision of the future, Aries. You know, just envision it. See it. Okay, your path will not look identical to anyone else's. That is what makes you unique. Remember that as you stay the path that feels connected, the path will continue to lead you to alignment. Let your vision be as different as you are, okay? Your affirmation, my path is mine and mine alone. When I follow my path, alignment comes naturally, okay? So that is your reading, Aries. I hope this reading helps you and finds you well. And if this resonates, please like and subscribe. And if it doesn't resonate, make sure to take a look at your other placements. I should have them all uploaded by the end of the week. Okay? And many, many, many blessings to you, Aries. Happy April. Happy birthday. And love and light.